Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, of course. And right now we're taking a look at Warden because, well, he's been justifying on us, but apparently Lanius has just gone to war with Warden, which will prove to be interesting. Um, now, we can go to war with Bombay Jack, of course, but I think it's best to wait and see if Warden goes to war with us, which they might not, which is good. Off screen, I've just been waiting and just trying to get more political power, as you can see. So, it is what it is. Let's do another focus, such as extensive field training. Why not? Riots, insurgents, raiders, and even some blind ferals have been a menace for quite a while. Fortunately, we have an adequate or equipment upgrade to test, as well as a few theaters that might advance our technology through our sheer force. Very good. And I've just been sitting here just letting, letting resistance get further down, which is kind of high in some places, but in some other areas, it's not too bad. So, uh, a couple comments to go through. Uh, so one of the person left quite a few comments saying, like, what the translations were of each type of soldier and and names or you know regular Chinese names we could put with them. So, ooh, hopefully they good. Okay, they do go to war with us. Okay, kind of risky, I would say. Can we win actually by doing this? Oh well, I mean it would help if we put front lines. Um, oh wait, hold, 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 hold. Don't give it to this. So let's see what the names. Um, the Hai Guai. Obviously, I don't pronounce or speak Chinese, so. Uh, apparently that means was it black ghosts, black people, black ghosts. So which makes sense because we know we're like the soldiers, the ghoul paratroopers that ended up in Colorado. Um, we have the Lao Bing, Alaskan veterans, Wu Jing was riot police, and I'm gonna mess that up if I even pronounce it. But that's power armor, and of course we have Zhu Jun or something like that. So uh, if we oh we're actually fighting these guys too. Are we fighting scorpions? By oh we are. They're actually allied. Oh I didn't realize that. Um. Obviously, if we go to war with these guys, then Lanius is going to want to come kill us as well. Which doesn't sound like a good idea. It's probably best to wait against him. Hmm. We could give him all that stuff. We don't have a core in it yet, and Lanius does. You know what? We're just going to hang out then. Let's just hang out. Because I need a little bit more time to take these guys out, so... We could help out and take them out. I do want. To, I don't mind attacking Lanius when they're attacking Texas, though. That's my big, big deal. And I want to hurry up and go to war with these guys too. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, other people, not just from the last video, but even the first video, said that there needs to be some sort of interaction with the Enclave. Like, if, if the Enclave realizes there's like little Chinese communists still existing, then obviously they'd be very gung ho about putting them out and and putting them down. So, that would make actually a lot of sense. Actually, a lot, a lot of sense. But regardless. Uh, it's not in the mod yet, and maybe it won't be ever be, but hopefully it will someday. But we'll see what happens, you know. Let's see. Our nation's name. I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Ji Yu Da Dui? Da Dui? Da Dui? Um, apparently it means Liberty Brigade, I believe, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Breeder Colonies. I said these didn't do anything yesterday, and the might not still do anything. But these are for the Yangtze, maybe National Spirit, which we do get 20. So if we do it again... And eventually we look back here, it might go up beyond 20. So we'll see about that. Looks like we got, ooh, two more divisions. Don't mind if we do. That's always very nice to get more divisions. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't really want to fight. You know what, though? I have a good feeling that maybe we should just go ahead and try something here. Just because... We we definitely need to move in at this point. Just because I want to go to war with the claim jumpers. Take over the lands. I don't think lands can really go to war with them, that, which is good. But still... What if we just try to general attack? Could we win? You guys somehow cannot. Of course, there's one versus three. I guess that makes sense. Even down here, though. Special forces? They kind of suck. Not gonna lie. They kind of suck. Do we have any planes over here? We do have a little bit, but not very much. Unfortunate. Oh, you guys don't have planes, but the infantry does. I want to finish this war off as fast as possible. That is my main goal. Come on, come on. You, they, you should be able to pierce them pretty easily. Heavy Mountain Trooper stuff. Battlefield Hierarchy is very good as well. Ace Pilot promoted. Very, very good. Very nice, very nice. Oh, wow. You guys are really killing yourselves on the line. Oh, we are missing some power armor. Don't get me wrong. But still. And I, I don't mind giving this territory. Yeah, we got to hurry up and win this war. Come on. 12th of June. Oh, we got to reach us if I got dang it. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. It's only 75 days. You know what? Stop. I'm not going to waste my time then. Hold. We lost too many guys in a stupid war. At least we can click on this. We've only lost 167, which isn't bad. they lost 900 some. Uh, does Lanius have claims on all this? God dang it, Lanius. Well, I will definitely make sure we kill off Lanius later when we have more cores and such. Because, as I said earlier, I do want to expand into Utah in this episode and actually integrate New Sterling, which would be a good goal for us. 
over here. Let's go grab some awareness. That'd be good. Complicated circuitry is very nice. Very, very good. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Let's wait. Infantry. Put down more resistance or suppression. Good. So we built up some more stuff. Can we build up some more roads here? Oh, we already built them all up. Build some uh, air bases around here, too. I want to lower their autonomy so we can integrate them so we can get a trade node. Oh my goodness, we need a trade node badly. Uh, you two, go right here. Oh, come on, game. And there you go. You should be able to win pretty easily. Alright. Frequency analysis, thank you. We should be able to pierce them, right? Yep. Capture Lost House Bunker, I guess there goes the Brotherhood. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as well. Extensive field testing and training and scientific tech. Oh, very good. So we're done with all this. I guess it's basically time to do this. Temp, the Euclid allows the Tyrant Path to form Colorado as a militaristic state. Oh, we, if, we get, if we did a benevolent emperor, communist integration, communist dream, more weekly manpower, division organizations, st weekly stability, max factories in the state, output. Wow, that looks really good. Wowzers. Scientific stuff. Huh. Alright, cool. There's still shell batches too, which I want to try out. I don't know. I'm not sure what that's going to do, but... Let's see. What does this do? Ready three artillery barrages. What does that do? Oh, now they call it... Well, I, mean, I don't really care. Um, I don't see any decisions or anything. Um, do I, like, click on them or something? Can we actually, like, win a battle if we do that or something? I'm not really sure. We'll take one of you guys, take one of you guys, and then boom, there you go. Our shelling artillery brigades. I'm gonna clamp down on time anyway since I want to lower their autonomy too, so. Oh, that's the wrong button here. Manage subjects. Yeah, we definitely gotta cut them down. Do we have any bonuses? Air support, of course. I'm not sure if that does anything, though. I really don't know. It's kind of a bummer that it doesn't. Industrial support is gone. You know, oh, look at that manpower. Not bad. Yeah, we're kind of done mobilizing. That's not good. Getting more army XP is always nice. Thank you very much. Any upgrades? Yeah, our army's okay. It's not great. We just need to keep expanding. Oh, look at that encirclement. Nice. Oh, there goes the she. That she took three states, huh? Wow, the Shi are looking not too bad. And you guys are not doing too much against the Brotherhood. The Troll Warren are still there. So at this point, we're just kind of waiting for these guys to die. And then we'll go to War of the Flame Jumpers, the Foragers, Circle Junction, Core as much as we possibly can, get to Equal Rock, take out Dead Horses, probably end up fighting the White Legs, maybe even Kaiser himself. But we'll see what happens. Oof, that's good a lot. Frequency analysis, and we're trying to get more political power too, so. Oh, that's not that much ahead of time. 130 days, not too bad. After radio detection, we're going to grab even more radio detection, which would be very, very nice. And... Very good. Going to need some triplane attackers. Going to need a lot of things, actually. Uh, we need more on there. We need more on there. We need way more on there. But we'll core stuff. Core places. Have a good time. You know, the normal stuff. Alright, up here. 77%. 94. That's pretty good. It's not worth very much at all, I'll be honest, though. But it is what it is. Need slightly more compliance. There we go. We got whole maybe one more factory. A song for the front. Jiu uh, Dai Di forces to fight heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We can play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Make sure everyone listens. As much as I want more political power now, I want to get more war support just because I want to get to what is it? Oh, look at that. Nice. I like the manpower. 100% war support would be very, very delightful to have. We lost 200 guys, so what's the point of us even fighting any, any harder here? There's no point, so. Uh, eh, go and do that, why not? Long range radio, why not? Five day less left for CQC training. We'll probably... Ooh, handmade assault rifles. Ooh, China... I've, oh, as much as I think we should really go energy weapons for this one. Red shift rifle. I, I've got to go that way. I have the Chinese power armor mark too, which is nice, but... I, I've, I've got to go warrior equipment. I just have to. we have another focus to do? Oh, do we, oh yeah, the stuff down here. The Iron Price. The messenger just arrived. Apparently, bullet eaters in need of a talk. His mercenaries are becoming rather unruly under our watchful eye, and he has a source of income to protect. So be it. Um, no, you're not allowed in, son. You ain't. You definitely ain't allowed in. 
Because after this, we probably we were still going to go to war those guys down there, which is good. Inviting Bullet Eater. A formal invitation and escort will bring him here. We will consider what to do afterwards, but I feel like we have to tread lightly against these hardcore capitalists. Oh, degenerate capitalists. Oh, we can go back to war them? That's good. We've got enough time now. Go ahead. You should have enough strength to do this, so. Head on in. Kill them off. Very good. Get rid of these guys. Good. And there they go. So, as much as I want to, this is going to be one of the rare, rare times that I do not take anything from a war I'm in. Very strange, I know. I would normally take something, but if I take something, then Lannis will go to war with us, and we just can't afford that, so... Lannis can have his, uh, spoils of war for now. Leave me alone, Lannis. And then he finally just goes to war with me anyways. That would really suck. Get ready to go. Should do relatively okay in here, so. After inviting Bullet Eater, what shall we do? Uh, uh, Recon Infiltration, very nice. Let's go and grab some more Principal Warrior Code. Very, very good. Followed up with what do we have here? The tie clique sounds really, really cool. Um, and the Empty Streets of New Sterling would be really nice. Oh, well, we have to do that since we don't own it. Oh, I would like a free cores on this. That'd be so nice. Hmm. We could. Our reindustrialization efforts. I, I'm just thinking. If I ever play this mod again, which I might, we would probably end up going with all the cliques, which would be a little bit more, you know, consistent. So if I choose this clique now, that would be kind of inconsistent. We might actually try to go to with the Benevolent Emperor, which I'm not sure what to, how to get that one. But. Pretending inferiority. He's back on the menu. I think it just makes more sense if we just go ahead and try to own them. So, that's pretty much the last focus we can do here, though. So, everything else is locked. And our goal, like I said in the last episode, was for us to get to the sheep. So, there you go. Now, if we don't do anything, will they attack us, hopefully? Maybe? maybe not. Now, yep, they do attack us a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll just let you guys go ahead. You should do relatively okay. What is this? Oh, deploy the cannons. Okay. Yeah, why not? 50% more breakthrough, 60% more offense, minus 100% organization damage taken, cannot retreat while attacking, strength damage while taken, minus 30%. That seems like pretty, that seems pretty extreme, which I kind of like. Nice. And by, uh, without doing a, wow, we actually don't get that much political power at all, do we? No, we do not. Actually, get these guys involved. So this way, if we have planes around, they can get involved in, there we go. See? You can do some ground damage, get some air superiority. Cut off the capital as well, which is nice. Head on in if you can. Battlefield Hierarchy, and Elite Breakthrough Tactics. So there'll be one more episode in this campaign. I think with this campaign, we can probably break over here, get paused, fight the NCR, and call it a campaign. Even though, uh, maybe, might be two episodes and we have to do that, but whatever. Deploy the cannons if you can. Infinite Chinese Old School Power Armor. Actually, yeah, so do the Breeder Cannons thing finish already? Hey, I did it! Amphibious and Vicious P plus 100%, which is pretty much useless, as well as plus 25 more, plus 5 more energy, actually, compared to what it was last time. I love breeding. Nice. Cool. And I got some coffee to keep us nice and warm. Oh, I didn't give you guys any orders, huh? That sucks. Oh, I've always got some upgrades. That's good. Uh, local leader would not be bad, but you must, you're leading... Actually, you shouldn't be leading these guys at all. Um, honestly, you guys, head on over here. You're all special forces, for, in my opinion. So, infantry is not bad. I do kind of want to just use up all, nothing but power armor, so I would like to do infantry leader, but I don't think that'd be really good for us. Organization also moving. Actually, that gun only... The, the, the overall blues must have changed this again. I thought it used to be like 5% or 6%, maybe, but... Hmm. Out of supply, power armor. Get some more entrenchment, why not? Because I, I just want to use nothing but planes and, like... Special forces, and close air support, and stuff like that. Alright, you guys gotta move into here. There you go. Oh, 
And also, we don't want to forget, we gotta go to War of the Circle Junction 2. Which would be nice. Only 90 days. Not terrible. Not bad, but not terrible. Gotta get some more support up there. You know what? We're ready the cannons again. Because we've got plenty of artillery barrages ready to go. Any more divisions? Okay, yeah. It's not great power armor. But it will suffice. Anything else? Nope. Can we core anything yet? That'd be kind of nice, right? Yep, there we go. Nice. Good, good, good. Are they declared one of the Desperados? Well, congrats, I guess. Come on, guys, let's go in. Very nice, and they're gone. Claim jumpers, thank you. Very, very much. Well, everyone, I th believe it is time for us to form the, not me, but you, clique with enough states in our grips or grip. We should be able to form a new nation under my image. Let's stick to the old borders of Colorado for now. Our maps of the area are still quite accurate. We have more than 40 controlled states. Uh, our country will be known as you. Get some stability. Every own state gets more infrastructure and manpower. And get a core on every single state. So basically we wasted some manpower, or some political power I should really say. Um, we wasted some political power trying to core stuff. Hey, we became you. Look at that. Awesome. And... Actually, do we have anything else here for the breeder colonies? Yeah, we got a little bit more, so we're going to keep pumping up this as well, because we, we won't have, you know, all the political power in the world, but that's okay. Uh, Mama Dolce's algae surprise would be nice. Exploit Iron Alliance. Do we get a core on this stuff? Oh, I can't believe we changed our flags, too. This has been a wild ride. Oh, there's a comment from yesterday. You know the, the flag? Before we change to the KMT flag here, the Republic of China's flag, the flag that we had with the star and the hammer and sickle in the center with some Chinese text over a white banner on the left side, like my thumbnail flag. Um, that flag was specifically chosen because, well, I chose it because it looked nice, somewhat nice. It actually has historical significance somewhat. It was a flag of the Chinese workers and peasants Red Army between 1928 and 1930. So I thought I'd mention that before I forget that our flag just changed. But right now we can go to war with the Circle Junction. So thank you very much. And I like that we changed our flag. But even though, technically we are Chinese communists, so, uh, I guess the way we, we went with the U clique, you know, uh, I, I kind of would have preferred the PRC flag just because we are Chinese communists, but whatever. Oh, maybe we should stop trading too. There you go. Can we just move on in? Do they have any divisions? Um, 500. They got nine guys. Uh, we take good cores on everything, so we should be able to do this pretty darn quickly. 15 days. Uh, there you go. Thank you. And after this episode, I might just install the Fast Justification War mod. It's so nice having that mod, actually. Just so if, if you ever need it, or whenever we need it or I need it, we can just install it. Just so we can go to war a little bit more quickly. It doesn't really matter if we want to wait that long. I mean, wait, like, months at a time to just go to war with one person? Nah. Not really worth it. But anyways, let's go do this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, head on in, everyone. Except for you. You go, like, go right there, go right there, go right there. And, yeah... I need to save some political power up to annex these guys. I shouldn't spend too much political power on other stuff, though. Alright, so how are we looking for mass... Wow! That's a lot of manpower. Then again, I mean, we are a two-year conscription. What do you expect? But manage subjects. Well, we still need to lower a little bit more. We are building in his lands a little bit. Yes, we are. That's nice. And we got more cores. We got more civilian factories. Uh, Eagle Pass is ready to go. Well, why not? Not bad, I would say. Not bad. I should say. Oh, do not get encircled, please, guys. Come on. Please don't get encircled. That would not be very good. I'm glad we got more manpower, though. I love it. Now we're going to need some logistic companies, because they're going to be taking up a lot of the supplies anyway, so. There it goes. Last patrol in the Choctaw Nation and her allies. Oh, very good, my friends. Very, very good. Well, I would prefer... Actually, we don't have any air support for these guys on yet. That's fine. Uh, do this stuff. Help out. Uh, New Vegas, New Mojave Tatars. I, I gotta play New Vegas again sometime. No, you guys go right there. No, no, attack this way. No, this way. Guys, please. Oh, come on, man. Let's go up to Circle Junction. And, I mean, we might as well keep doing that, right? I mean, we have Warrior Code. We got Shell Batches. Uh, where's Shell Batches? Portable radios. Are they portable radios? Because we have these. Yeah, 155. I mean, we make 1.54 a week. We have 58 of those in reserve. Oh, there it is. Motorized vehicles? No. Well, it's somewhere here. Maybe I'm, I'm probably just blind. 
And time doesn't really matter too much. Let's grab some combined arms. Oh, I love it. There you go. Keep going, guys. I love artillery shelling. Love it. Help them out a little bit more. Help them out. And even though we're struggling a little bit, that's okay. It's always good to struggle a little bit. It helps, as far as some people say, build character. But it helps us get more army XP as well, which I like. Oh, look at that. We made a little ship. A little dinky ship to make sure that we can go back home to China someday. CIQ? Good luck training for the rest of your life. Oh, we have drills over here. Oh, and they're struggling a little bit. Okay. For the cannons, more breakthrough offense. I know that doesn't make too much sense over there, but whatever. Come on, help them out. Good, good, good. If you want to, you can just kill those guys off if you really feel like it. Circle Junction shall be ours. Yeah, we need got logistic companies next. Ah, Circle Junction. Thank you for playing. Head on in, everyone. Have a good time. Send a few guys right there as well. And do great jobs. How many men have we lost? 26, 284. That's not bad. Improved radar. Eh, what's over here? Got some of this. Advanced tools. And actually, you gotta make sure we wanna lower their autonomy. So, let's build some civilian workshops here. That should... Well, eventually we'll get integrate them, so that's not too bad. Who's next? Are we doing dead horses? Yes, we are. Beautiful. And we will do Lanius, so... Beautiful, beautiful. Just keep doing it. I love I love artillery barrages. I like that I like that this is the Oh crap. I don't want to exploit them. No nope. oh the game lagged too hard for us to do that, whatever. Go and do that too. Oh the Garita Caldera. Yes, please, some like it hot. We don't need that. Military society. Actually, do we need that at all? No, that hurts our worst part, which is a waste of time. Oh, uh, minus two point eight, which is not good. Go and stop making divisions then. Thank you, thank you. Get a medium. Well, we can work with whatever we have right now. Uh, we'll be fine. Force the attack as well, so this way you get some planes going as well. Uh, do that. Manpower, I'm, as you can tell, I'm not really concerned about manpower right now. Force the attack with the power armor. Destroy these guys. I don't care what the losses we take. I really don't. Uh, head on over there. Actually, you, you hold, but you help support the attack. This way, New Montrose gets cut off. Which is important, important, important. Muy importante. Muy, muy, muy. Grab a prototyping is nice. Let's grab some bricks. We have five research slots, six research slots. We have advanced, you know, technologies, but we've figured out how to finally use bricks. It only took the Chinese ghouls until 2280 to learn how to use them. Oh, good, good. Autonomy must be just dropping for these guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now we shall break into Utah. Are they allied with anybody? No, and we can, we're almost ready to go. At this point, go to airbase right here, like dinosaur caverns. Got it. Okay. Can we have a dinosaur exhibit, please? That'd be so cool. Uh, for you guys, go ahead and... Oh, you have a Ace Pilot Zoo Pebbles Gin. Nice. There you go. Can we duplicate you? That'd be so good. Oh, we literally have one extra plane. That's fine. And just in case it's for the future, this shouldn't take too long to do. 60 days, and eh, that's all right. Get some more political power. Autonomy should be dropping because we still need to lower the levels. We need quite a bit more political power, which really, really sucks, but whatever. Now they're attacking us, which is good. How strong are these guys? Wait, New Vegas has a... How does New Vegas have a claim on Dead Horses Point? That's, that's, that's all the way in Colorado. Unless I'm missing something. Sure, it might be. They have 23 divisions. They have 1,000 manpower. I'm not too concerned about that, obviously. And yeah, is there any way for me to raise stability? Let's sell some war bonds. Hmm. We followed somebody, don't really care. Uh, Reader Colony, I we gotta save our political power up. Oh yeah, let them kill themselves on the line. Oh, that'll be good. Very, very good. Yeah, focus on the internal sphere. Yeah, that's not really worth it. When selected, is that worth it? For 100 days, weekly stability. Well, let's see. You know what? We could do math as our... Allies want, or enemies want to kill us off. Let's go do that. So 100 days. So 100 days divided by 7 for a week is uh, roughly 14. So I'll say 14. 14 times, well, technically you get basically 4% more stability in the end. And you lose 20% political power while spending 100 political power early on for a whole whopping 4% stability, roughly. That's not worth it. So 
but the math checks out. And normally I don't like doing a lot of math, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Alright, let's do some voxel doctrines. Ooh, some more factories. Manage this, thank you. Ah, yes. So probably off screen I'll probably just integrate them anyways. I mean, we'll see what happens, how long how, how long it takes for us to go to war with the next person. So I like to speed up the campaigns, as you can tell, a little bit more and more and more. Just because, well, sometimes we like to move on to the next campaign. There's some things, I mean, sometimes we already finished our land doctrine, so. Actually, you know what? You know what? Actually, what am I doing? Let's finish this. I would love to do the Great Embargo, and we have, well, we might not do that next time. But we already have cores on them, what's the point of doing this then? So the Tyke League. Great, in return for the industrialization of the backwards area, as well as some of our newly built education center, at least their core population appears to be quite content and are ready to be integrated more closely. Because we're already doing this, so that's my bad. I should have realized that earlier. Oh well. We get cores, We got the core on their land anyway, so it doesn't even matter. They've, we've lost 32. They've lost 2,000. Obviously not enough. Go and do that again. I love command power. I love that. Well, I don't know when that came out in the game. Nine. Not bad. Not bad. And we'll probably go to war with these guys next, depending on the faction. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we'll end up fighting the White Legs eventually, which is going to be a pain in the butt, but you know, whatever. Help them out down here. There you go. Actually, if you guys could just help start the attack there, that'd be kind of okay with me. There you go, yep. Yeah, that's looking nice. Get that barrage in there. Blow them up. If we can take this tile and circle these guys, that'd be great. But obviously, it's taking some time. Uh, Breeder Colony... Already artillery barrages. Infinite artillery barrages. I love it. So I can some money, so I want to core them as fast as possible. Uh, Tie Cleek. After the Tie Cleek, we're going to do the Sterling Exodus. Disaster! A messenger arrived to us, bearing grave news following our reindustrialization efforts. The Tie Cleek? Awesome. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Yeah, they're definitely hurting here. Manpower is looking spectacular. Oh, good. We got that done. Let's go ahead and go to war with these guys. Or at least begin justifying on them, at least. Wow, 35 days is not bad, bad, bad. And this, because we have so much artillery. Ooh, Reclamation Authority. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Very nice. Very, very nice. Arm XP is not looking great, but not bad. More artillery. Ah, oh, we got it. Finally. We finally got it. Platoon training is nice. Let's go ahead and grab some home handmade assault rifles. That sounds like a lot of fun. Officer's swords? Oh my goodness, powered weaponry. That'd be kind of nice. Ah, now we've, we've finally broken over. We're doing an okay job. 81, 3,000, not bad. More, deploy the cannons. Always deploy the cannons. More offense, more breakthrough. I don't care what the cost is. Tan Jin, he's going to be learning. This Tan person, Tan, Tan, is going to be learning a whole bunch of stuff. Followers demand reduced conscription over your dead body. Uh, I'd recommend movement as well. Invest more in their artillery barrages. We will do more of this stuff, but, uh, well, because we're not super high yet, we're still pretty high in terms of that, I mean. Uh, let's go and do another breeder colony. I love breeding. I love these colonies. The empty streets of New Sterling. A worrying message reached our court. The mercenaries of New Sterling apparently all left to a new guild that they set up in Holyoke. While they didn't want to pass on our deal, they tried their best to make their distance from the people's school of tomorrow. Even though this means that capitalism won the struggle, some of them stayed, as well as the thankful civilians, ready to join our cause in our full support. Bullet Eater himself made way, using us as a wall between him and those love robots in the south that are growing unruly by the end of the day, but that shouldn't be of great concern. An unexpected yet welcome outcome. Wait, we own New Sterling now? Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not expecting that. This is much better than I thought we could get. Okay, then. Awesome! I guess doing sometimes doing these special ones are, is okay. New Sterling's disabled for the next roughly a month, but we'll make some money after that. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Get the artillery going. This is great. I'm not sure what else to say. It's, this is awesome. I don't lose caps for now. That would not be very good. Because there there's some severe penalties if you, like, go above or you, if you're in debt too much. Okay, so we're really ready to go. These guys are really just not giving up. And they're definitely paying the price for it. I don't want to just find anybody too soon, so... Keep going. Force the attack. Force them literally just to die if they don't want to do anything. In the meantime. In the meantime. 
Your eyes will protect the waterways while the power armor and special forces move around. That'd be nice. A little bit of lag. That's all right. There you go. Got to cover our holes. And that's all right with me. All right. I'll let time go on. Just so we can get some more political power and such, you know. Political power is super important. We finally upgrade you. Advanced circuitry. Very good. And go and grab that too, because why not? Now I still disabled. Dark. Darn it. New Sterling disabled. Followers demand reduced conscription. Son, do, do they not? They don't realize who they're messing with. Combined arms. Nice. Let's grab and finish land with Champions of Virtue. Economic resurgence. Thank goodness. Ah. Love it. How much money are we making now? 36. Great. We can make war divisions. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. We're not even using garrisons anymore. Seriously, this is taking so long. Why is it taking so long? We might have to re-justify too, so just in case. It shouldn't be taking that much longer. It's fine, we got the political power for it. That's fine for now. And it's only 35 days, so. I'm surprised they're not dying any faster than this. Then again, do we have air support? We do have... We're doing a lot of damage, too. Holy cow. How are they holding on? I guess these... This. I mean, they're Chinese power armor. They're not that great... They're not that bad. We have anti tank. We should make me make them a little stronger then. Come on, guys. You took UT, which is good. Um, how many? How many? How much money do we have? Oh yeah, let's go invest some more stimulus. That'd be fine. Anything else? Good. Run them over. They've lost seven thousand, which is not bad. Railway junctions. Oh, do they lose 8,000? No, nope, so 7,000. That's fine. Keep building, building, building. Uh, are they really done building there? Hmm. Don't want to do this, but here's a lot of naval bases. Good luck. I'm not, we don't even need naval bases, but I don't really care. Actually, we can go straight to the Sorrows, take these guys out. I actually have a really good defensive area between us and the White Legs. Not bad, but thank goodness it's over. Thank you. All right. Half you guys go right there. Another another half go right there. I don't know how Hoi Force selects what divisions we halfies, but whatever. You know, you know, I haven't said yet. Hope you guys are having a good day. If not, you know, maybe it'll get better. But if you're having a great day, enjoy it. Some days just are worth having. Other days, not so much. <laughs> Now we will, of course, score over here. So I'm like it hot, my friends. Diana's work is paid off. The twin mothers will harness the power of the caldera. We will use the fruits of our labor to build the economy and turn our men and women to other tasks. We get some caps. Circle Junction gets 1,850 exact amount of manpower. I love it. And we actually have this as a core, which is awesome. Now, obviously, we don't have this as a core, but I'm not too worried about that, as you can tell. And, yeah, I got planes. Nice. I love planes. Recycling. We will definitely need to recycle some. Ah, uh, I love this. We can actually... Hold on. I want to see what we can do with that stuff. Let's see. Put you guys here. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. You know what? Screw the, the, the two as well. There you go. What does this do? Oh, we can't use it. Can we? Uh, it just is Okay. Maybe we should not do that because it might just glitch out on us. So I don't know. I don't want too many glitches for us. All right. Looking pretty good. Give it about five seconds and then we'll go ahead and do what we must. Five. Four, three, two. Infrastructure is super, super important to me for some god on own reason. Let's go ahead. After them, because the white legs are increasingly getting more and more hostile to us. Oh, no, thank you. <sighs> Minimizing the air. Oh my gosh, that's 95%. Oh, no, no, no. Handle the. Oh, they're going to die. If that's the case, I'm just going to go to war with the Sorrows, probably. That's going to take so long. Which is fine. I mean, we can do Fade and Fade Out. That's all. Okay, we're actually doing a lot better than I thought we would. Armor Hardening. We like it a little harder. We can't do this because... Settler Power Armor Tech. So we're stuck with the Power Armor that we have. Well, that sucks. But it's okay. We'll find a way to be successful, no matter what, right? Scam just found something great! 
Robco Industries. Hey, Robco. How you doing? Volatile stock market. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. Maybe some oversight is needed. Robco, Robco. Uh, too bad we're not using robots for this campaign, or I would have used them, but no thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're actually bombing some ships, huh? You mean a whole lot of bombed en enemies. There you go. They should die pretty quickly. There you go. Head on in, too, if you can. Over the river. I know. Stocks, but whatever. Uh, any upgrades for a general? Yes, please. Uh, I did say I want Observant Leader, which I almost never choose, so let's choose it. Anything else? Not really. Not yet. Head on right in. Oh, there we go. We actually broke over the river. They've lost a thousand, and they're almost gone. Thank you very much for playing. Very, very nice. So here we are, everyone, in which we are, as you can see, going to war with the Cyphers. Actually, we've gone to war with Lone Tree, Cyphers, Sleepers, and Sorrows, but uh, I haven't really done too much else. But let's see if we can go ahead and have a good time, you know? Let's see. I actually told these guys just kind of hang out, but at this point, since we're with Lone Trees and I actually don't have that many divisions up there, they could probably use some assistance. Hopefully the game doesn't crash, because actually it crashed when I was trying to record this a little bit earlier. Please don't crash, please don't crash. Good, 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 good. Alright, you guys head on down here, that's fine. Uh, I decided to go to war with all these guys just because, why not? We might as well, right? Might as well. So, uh, hopefully we can do well. The Cypher's always a bit of a problem. So, that'll be good. That'll be very, very good. It's going to take some time, but, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Please don't crash. Oh. Oh, uh, mostly Kai's are, like, falling apart. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, because it did crash harder, than, and I got worried just because some mods might be a little crazy. They might not work correctly at times, but that's okay with me. Very good, very good. Please, do not get encircled here, son. Please do not. All right, take two of you. Let's go right there. And nice. Very, very nice. Hopefully we can still make it all the way to the Shelands. Which would be good. Good. Get on down there if you can. Destroy these guys. You guys head on down here. That'd be nice. And honestly, not much else has happened except that I was able to reintegrate. Or actually, ooh, the Cyphers are done. Good. Uh, we took out New Sterling. I annexed them. I took their entire army because actually, with their entire army, we would have lost a lot of profit. So, took them and I deleted them. So, deleted the divisions. That's how we got a little bit more manpower. But it's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Pretty nice. And we're actually doing pretty well up there, too. Not bad. After this, we'll pro. Uh, it might be best if we go to war with the White Likes. Maybe. Oh, they're aligning with the Mormons. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, J Jeremiah Rigdon is still down there. So be it. So be it. Uh, maybe you guys go down there. That'd be pretty nice. You guys are having one heck of a spasm. Hello. Uh, that looks like impossible terrain to me, but, you know, I could be wrong. You guys head on out and have a good uh, time up north. I'll take out the lone trees. That'd be good. Very, very good. At least Mesa Verde is under us. And we have him as a core, which is awesome. So many factories. At this point, we could probably challenge Langus, who is trying to fight Texas, who is slowly losing to Texas. And whoever owns Colorado, um, we got to kick him out anyways, eventually. So, actually, can we just find you guys? We sh Yes. 45 days. So we do need to go to War of the Legion eventually, but... Um... Yeah. I have never seen the Mile Pius so like come out here, actually... What is going on? I've never seen the Mal Pius look at actually the Legion Loyalists do this. Holy cow, I want him to win. Holy cow. If he could win, that'd be awesome. They're fighting the NCR at the same time, which is going to be really, really bad, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Nice. And let's keep breeding some more breeder colonies. Uh, very good, very good, very good. And, I mean, this is looking great. How is the project going? Capture Link Lincoln? Even more energy? Oh, it looks so good. But of course, we can do better, a, lot, a little better. You know what? I'm going to actually lower my conscription level so we get. Actually, it less than. Eh, let's go down there. Just so we get slightly more construction speed, which won't matter. As you can see, I've done a lot of technology already, so. Keep these guys in place. That'd be fine. Ah, the sorrows are gone with basic generators under us now. Or we have them available. Gene crops are nice. Ballistic fibers, very good. And mechanized training because we can. Oh, wait. 
Oh. The Mormons have done a great job. They're allied with the 80s, though, which will make... Hello? Wait, when did they go to war with me? Well, I'm glad I found this out now. This could prove to be a little bit of a problem if we lose our control, but okay. I need you guys to force the attack and just go ham at this point, because this is not looking very good for us. Especially if these guys are just kind of flooding on in. Um, go ahead and do what you have to do. I'll take you guys. Actually, you guys can probably help finish these guys off. Oh my god, they completely encircled us. Are you kidding me? Well, in any case. Okay, so I don't know what happened here. But they must have done a focus where they just go to war with me immediately. Without any sort of... Anything happening. So... That is not ideal. Quite not ideal. Uh, Lima. Thank you. Thank you. Come on over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And you guys have got to push in, in as hard and as fast as possible. First of all, we got to get that port. So we get at least a little bit more supplies through here. Even if you get in circle, it doesn't matter. And I believe I have thrown in some logistics companies here. And as you can see, I we annexed a lot of the, the divisions from Iron Alliance. I'm actually a little worried that we might lose some soldiers here. Threw in some logistic companies. Threw on no logistic companies. There you go. Now I throw them on. That's good. We have enough equipment and all, but still. Let's get some more logistic companies. That'd be even better. Seriously, you've got to, you've got to win. There's, there's no stopping this crazy train right now. All right, so you guys have got to win as well. Crazy horns, crazy horses, crazy horns. Yeah, you got to butcher your way up all the way up to here. There is no stopping. Zero stoppage. This is stupid. Ah, the supers are gone. At least that's good. So these guys will give us another way to get a waterway into there. That'd be good. Uh, you guys just go that way. Thank you. Air base raids. Grab some formation fighting. Actually, if you could capitulate these guys fast enough, that'd be great. We were not able to get that area up there. So be it. Screw it. We're going to build some naval ports right here. Let's get moving, get moving, get moving, get moving. These guys should be out of manpower by now, right? The Crusade? No, they're out of... Yeah, they're out of manpower. These guys are not out of manpower yet. Did you just get encircled? Oh my goodness. Seriously. Well, we might just be able to capitulate them by going to price. Oh yeah, that's looking really bad for them. That's looking pretty bad for us. And we've lost a couple guys. Yeah, I don't understand this at all. How do they do this? How do they just like go to war with us immediately and have no, no repercussions? The AI is crazy, I would say. Force it. You've got to go. No, you going in right here, right now. No questions asked. Oh, we got some support or some supplies through there. That's good. Come on. How much longer? We're almost at price. Almost there. If we lose a few divisions, so be it. Whatever. It is what we must pay for success, I guess. And they're killing these divisions. Or at least they were a good little stop. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, with these soldiers, we've got more than enough manpower. Actually, well, we are demobilizing, so maybe not. Hmm. Whatever. We'll have enough soon enough. Guys, you cannot stop. There's literally no stopping here. Get to price right now. Lone Tree's got to go. Okay, so come on, come on, come on. How have you not won yet? They have no manpower. Go, 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 go. We lost another division or so. So be it. Force defense, force defense. Alright, at this point, oh my god, this is so stupid. This is so dumb. How? How were they able to do this? We should be able to deploy them. What the heck? Why can't we deploy them? There we go. That should be all that we really need to defend this, this territory. Uh, new general. My bad. I'm not gonna, like, fade and fade out and do some ridiculous stuff. I'm gonna show you everything that we've got here. You're just gonna hold. These guys, well, they were sacrificial lambs, which are, you know, it is what it is. Not much we can really do about that. Move up, move up, come on. Th this is, this is, this is so stupid. This is beyond stupid. These guys should have capitulated by now. There, there's no excuse 
for an enemy to do this with literally no manpower. Literally nothing. This is starting to piss me off a little bit. <sighs> okay, Price is gone. They should capitulate. They have to capitulate. They're dead. They have to be dead by now. Moab? Or Boros? Get up there, get up there. No! You know what I hate about Hoi 4? I absolutely hate this. That they can just get a free new capital by doing this? No, that's not even a core. It should be a, It should not happen like that. Yeah, I understand like the, the game needs victory points. I'd rather it make more sense if a random province became a capital than a non-core province. This is my opinion, but maybe that's, that's probably just me. That was so stupid. That was beyond stupid. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. Do they have a lot of resistance? Oh, wow. That's a lot of resistance. Yeah, these guys... They're out of manpower. Them annexing these guys probably wasn't a smart move. So, we'll see what happens. So here we are once again, my friends, and actually I forgot we were still war lone trees, and I almost lost all of our soldiers here, which would have been really bad. But luckily, I rescued them barely. Like, there was one, I should have shown you, but really, there was one tiny little line of soldiers left up here, and our guys barely were able to break through and then rescue the guys, get them supplies, but we're still in the deficit for power armor. But I figured, you know what, screw it, let's go to war with Lannis' Legion. At first, I thought they had no manpower. We haven't gone to war yet, but now they have 4,000. Industry-wise, we're roughly equal. They have 84 divisions, and Texas has been going to war with other, you know, little states, including Carbon, Los, and such like that. And I forgot, Ironmonger still exists. They're actually doing really, really well to help beat up uh, Santa Ana, so... It is what it is. And Malpias is probably going to lose, which is big sadness, but regardless, it's time to go to war and finish off Landis. Now, I will take whatever territory I want, and between us and Texas, I'll give them, like, eastern... I'll give them New Mexico. I really don't care about New Mexico. They can have that, yeah. We could take out Texas, but that's not our goal. My goal is to get to other places around here. So, as you can see, there's a lot of green, a little bit of red, but not too bad. 300 ground attack, hopefully, you know, very good, very good. Not enough, but we've been making a lot more planes as of late, so. Could be better, could be worse. Losses thus far, 55 versus, wow. Texas has done 16,000 casualties while they've taken 36,000 themselves. Holy bad words. That's a lot of dead. Red victory grenade rifles. Very nice. Very nice. Let's grab some of this. That'd be very, very good as well. Um, off screen, I also went and g ahead and core. Was it this area? Yeah, I did core Eagle Rock. So that's actually very good too. So, yeah, but with us having complete and absolute air dominance for the most part, we're still doing a lot of damage, even though we're taking a few losses and blowing up some of their uh, you know planes and such or blimps. We doing a lot of damage, and I like it. I like it a lot. Very, very good. And since we're here, we must also start justifying on someone else, maybe. Maybe we'll end this episode going to war with New Canaan. That might be good, just because we will have to fight them. They're lowering the resistance, which is actually really good for us. 80s have a lot of manpower, so this is probably going to really suck. But they are literally in our way to getting to the Shi, which is who I really want to go to war with. So we go through New Canaan, go through the 80s. Uh, the Mormon Alliance, get to pale folks, I call the help take out the NCR, get to the Shi. The next episode is going to be a very violent episode, and that's okay with me. We've already killed off 6,100, not bad. Alright, alright. And actually, we as a good thing we got Dog City because we're actually losing money. Look at that, minus 22 caps. We can only have 723, which is good and all, but... Yeah, we can use some more money. Oh, I forgot about this too. Breeder Colonies, I want to core more stuff, so we'll wait on that. I forgot to do this, my bad. My bad. There we go. Now we should do a lot more damage. Oklahoma declared war. Oh my goodness. Logistics on cyber warfare ban. Which Texas already went to war with them as well, so no one likes them apparently. Ironmongers are down there too. Some better doggos. Good. Yeah, we need a lot more power armor. Doggos, we're looking really, really good on. Uh, since we have enough army XP, we can do this. Doggo down. Doggo, doggo, doggos. I love the doggos. We are struggling down here somewhat, but that's alright. We're getting off artillery barrages for all the armies, it won't matter. And I like that there's no cost. All we just need are the artillery barrages and that's it. So much air XP, wowzers. Alright, so we've killed off a total of 13,500, more than double where we left off last time. We lost some 500 people so far. Texas should be doing a lot better down here too, but they're not really doing that much better. Oh, well, it looks like you guys actually won. Adjutant General Christopher Harrison, good job. Free from close air support. We are losing some energy cells, but that's alright. 
or just energy capacity. You guys have nothing here, huh? Down to change that. Head on in if you can. Uh, go ahead and hold and then do it. There you go. That's a little better. Now, can we core anything else around here that's going to co probably cost too much? I mean, 260 some factories. Not bad, not bad. 35,000 losses, 54 divisions. They started around with 80 ish. We're getting our number higher and higher. We've actually done half of all the support, which is good. While well, I'm not losing that many guys. So, Dex really doesn't deserve any of this territory, but I don't really care. And once we get core all this stuff, I mean, we're, this get, we're trying to get Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Colorado back. That's all I care about. Give more command power? No. No more upgrades? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Anti-material rifles would be nice. Let's grab some vital point targeting. Very good, very good. Uh, let's do that one. Forty-two thousand. I mean, we've been killing a lot of divisions. We've killed off twenty-six point six thousand of them, which is pretty good so far, I'd say. Uh, at this point, I think they're pretty much decimated. And I'm glad we we're going to just find these guys, anyways. So one army, two army. Is it three, four, five, six? But oh god, that resistance is going to be so bad. But that will help chew up the enemies as well, in terms of their equipment and manpower, which is something I'm not looking forward to at all. Propulsion charges. Logistics 5. I think so. Yes. Good. And we did throw them on here too, so. Um, not much else. We have a lot of army XP. Uh, kind of should more. We've got way more air XP than I thought we could have actually probably started with, but that's alright. You guys head into there. That's fine. Uh, let's get some defensive armaments, why not? Good, good, good. And these guys should capitulate. Well, I guess not soon at all, huh? My pious cohort, please don't die. Please, you're the chosen one. Yeah, we definitely need more stuff here. Oh, Jericho. We can go to war with Jericho immediately, but we're going to wait. Get some power stations. Wow. We built up a lot of stuff here already. It's very cool. Very good. Ah, very nice. Now this should be this should be a little bit easier now. Texas is really pathetic. You know what? We might just take New Mexico. We probably will. Might as well, right? I mean, Texas is barely doing anything. They can't even defeat Los. And they're still trying to fight Bayou Motors. Oh my goodness! I think to help them out, I think we'll just take it. Come on, get in there, get in there. All right, good. Some artillery barrages. I mean, if you want some artillery barrages, we got artillery barrages. One of the weird campaigns where power armor is not considered special forces. Again, like it. What? Actually, that's how it used to be, actually. Um, but, you know, whatever. Come on, Langus. You, you have lost 52,000 soldiers. Which is two to three losses compared to us. Like, we've done two thirds while Texas has done a third, so. Ah, the price is right. Pretty good. I don't think I've watched that show in a long time. Oh, Dog City can level up. But it's probably still disabled, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, good. Actually, how long would it take for us to do this? Zhifang Bihu Complex. I'm, I know I'm saying that wrong. I know I am. Uh, my pronunciations of Chinese characters and letters, I don't do that very often. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, no, they're doing a little bit more. I don't know. I, I'm still not keen on giving them New Mexico at this point. Because without us, I mean, they would have not been able to do too much. And they still can't take Los out, so which is really stupid. Cybernetic Enhancements. And let's grab some medics. I don't think we have a war goal against these guys until October 7th, just in case we'll re justify on them, anyways. Oh, they're already fighting two other people, huh? Yeah, they're doing well against Murtaugh Reformers. Good for them. You guys head on down to the pass, and hopefully, we can capitulate these guys very quickly. Alright, at this point, just going to do this. You guys are all over here. Let's do that. There you go.
Uh, I mean, there's a few guys right here. That's fine. Just gonna come up here then. Come on, more direct route. More direct route. Oh, Lanius is always a pain in the butt to take out, but not nearly as bad as these guys. Oh, Lost Lodge, too. All right, very nice, very nice. NCRs still hanging out. They're that'll probably be the big enemy that we gotta kill. So much air XP. We got four air XP in a single day. Wow. And nope, no more. That's all right with me. That's fine. Oh, we, we take out those guys too. <sighs> At some point, Lanius, you gotta say, no more, no moss. Come on, we're so close. Yeah, I think I'll just take it. Since they're struggling against these guys, as well as Lowe's. Come on, Texas. Come on, Texas, please. Rusk, please. Oh, they're out of manpower. Yeah, I, it's best to not give them anything, just because they won't have the resources to deal with the resistance. Alright, after this... Ooh, where am I going to station you guys? A lot of you guys will go right there, but half you guys... We'll have to go right there. Half you guys go right there. Yeah. Six of you guys could probably go right there and do relatively okay. And that actually provides us with a lot more opportunities, actually. Let's go one, two, three, four. Um, mm, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, we have quite a few holes, but I think we'll, I think we'll do okay. Front, song from the front. Last time I did war support, and actually we could use more war support right now. That's pretty bad. I love more political power, but yeah, it is what it is. Whatever. Bottle point targeting. Let's grab some better doggos. I love the doggos. Never had a dog myself, though. 52,000. Very good. And as you can see, this is a kind of a longish episode, so. But then again, my videos have been progressively getting longer and longer, but whatever. Logistics 5, Logistics 6. Even better supply consumption. Hey, see? No problems. The pass is ours, and they are gone. No, I'm sorry, Texas. This is for Texas's own good. We're not going to be able to give them anything just because they have no manpower. Uh, I will give them maybe this part of Texas. Is that part of Texas? Lubbock? Yeah, that's part of Texas. I think Fort Cloves is part of Texas, so you can have a back. Yeah, it's part of Lubbock, the actual nation of Lubbock. There you go. So we'll check. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Well, here we are. The U click is looking pretty nice and thick, but you know what I don't like? I don't like that we're the same colors as Sons of Kai's are, so honestly, as much as I want to go through Utah, and we will go through Utah, don't get me wrong, we'll probably go through the Sons of Kai's are, defeat the NCR that way, through their former lands, but we'll see what happens, the Ma Pai Legus, or Ma Pai's cohort is still fighting the good fight, and we're pretty much ready to go to war at this point. Our soldiers are primed, our soldiers are ready, it's October 26th, and we need to reach justify. My bad, I thought we had this done already. Ah, I got, we get literally two weeks or less, so... Alright, so here's what we got. Anything interesting right now, even though Fort Desolation and the Pass are disabled, we're finally making a good amount of money as well, which is good, 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 good. I've got some defensive armament, and yeah, like I said, this is a long video. Well, I'm not used to making, well, not too long videos. Usually about an hour-ish, roughly an hour max, but eh, well, whatever, you know. As long as I'm having a good time, and you guys are having a good time, that's all that matters, and if you're still watching, well, I appreciate you being around. I really do. Really, really do. So, uh, not much else. Rats. That's not good. But now we can keep doing this, which would be nice. Thank you. And we're doing Heaven's Gate High Chapel, just because we can. And we'll be ready to go. And I'm honestly not too worried about a war with these guys. They're completely out of manpower. And uh, actually, I'm a little worried, a little bit. Slightly worried, just because of the lack of... There's just so much resistance here. So much resistance. Uh, I guess they went to war with High Chapel as well, which is fine with me, actually. How's the 80s doing? How are they doing? A lot of the divisions. 3,000 manpower. Now, like I always say in a war against the 80s, they always find ways to get more manpower somehow, some way. Which usually pisses me off in the end. But, hmm. Hmm. My hope is that the 80s puts divisions over here so they can get destroyed by all this resistance. And actually, we're still missing... No, we're not missing any more power armor. Look at that. Surplus of 1,500 units. I don't want to attack... I don't want to, have to attack, please. I don't want to attack into 100% resistance territories. <laughs> please, spare us. Spare our soldiers. Oh well. Let's go on in. And actually, we've got plenty more fighters. And I'll cut them down to 50, why not? There you go. I mean, honestly, it, it won't be that hard to kill these guys off, especially if New Canaan has no manpower, but. 
I, it, it was such a bad idea for these guys to take this territory over and not be able to put them down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we gotta do this. We got enough manpower, and we should have a, a pretty good amount of equipment so that this won't be a problem, but 100%! My gosh! Oh, oh we'd get down below, what, 60? Was it 60, 70%? Oh, local riots is not good. Hostile militias. <laughs> oh, that's not good if you're invading an area where there's a lot of resistance and you have literal militias patrolling these streets. Oh my goodness. And then we gotta suffer the penalties for this. Uh, hey, maybe, but maybe if we conquer New Canaan fast enough, that we can put them down. Start really focusing on the resistance and such, so. And there goes all of our energy. Woof! That's a lot gone. 13,000, not bad. And I'll do that one too, as we can. Get some more cores, get some more. I get maybe another factory, perhaps. If we can move fast enough through here, the resistance won't be as bad. So. Hey, and these guys are cut off. Love it. Ball of New Canaan. Wow. Holy cow, that was... What? Okay, so... I guess the 80s weren't considered a major power, but New Canaan was. It doesn't feel right for me to take over all the 80s, but at the same time, I really don't want to give High Chapel anything. Um... Okay. Sure. Why not? I mean, if we're here, I guess we must do that. If we get involved in the Civil War, holy cow, the Sons of Gods became Res Publica. Um, and they even took out the Navajo Nation, too. Oh, the NCR's down there, too. Um, if we even get down here and help them out, then things like this, I don't think it'll be very good for us, because then we won't be able to any get any territory. This is a mess. <laughs> this is a giant mess. Oh, my goodness. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. I guess I want to go to war with these guys as well. Are we just finding anybody yet? No. How long would it take for us to go to war with these guys? 85 days. Well, we can start the next episode with that. But regardless, if you enjoyed this longish video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will go to war with the NCR and link up and probably take out the sheep. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.